All right, guys, we are back. Matt here from the Mighty Fish Goose on the Shops. And today, it's gonna to be a good one. Today we're doing top five slept on bait lures for striped bass. So these are some lures I feel as if not a lot of guys fish them, I do, and I get a lot of crap for it, but they still work. So let's get to it. At number one, we have your pintail. God striper pintail, I fish the 11 inches. The eels especially, um, I fish these during the day at night, pretty much all the time, uh, but mainly from the surf. Uh, so I, I cast these I mean, a, a lot of different ways. I, if it's at night, I'm dragging them like on the bottom, like real slow. Just drag them on the bottom, just, just enough to get the tail moving in. Just like that. These things are very cheap. The plastic is very hard and durable. And they just flat out catch fish. And a couple of homies get mad at me because I fish cheap stuff, but it catches fish. So it don't matter. But your pintail, I mean, you can fish these weightless with a jig head. I fish them with a jig head, but I mean, if you're fishing the rips, I'll mount them on a any nice rip, you can throw it with just like a nice weightless hook. Um, but here I have a one and a half ounce, I think it's a 9-0. And yeah, this is probably the first lure out of my bag from surf fishing. It's weird. So some guys throw an SP, an eaglefish, a bomber. Mine's a nice good old pintail in the eel color. All right, so first little off the list, got striper, pintail. 11 inch in the eel color. Can't forget it. Don't forget it. Number two, your voodoo shad. Um, I'm from Jersey and a lot of guys fish swim shads, uh, especially from the boat, but I don't see uh, too many guys throwing these from the surf. And these things are deadly. Just look at this. Just look at that tail. Jesus Christmas. And he's coming a wide variety of sizes. This, this is what, this is the four inch, just like your perfect little schoolie kind of mid, lower 30 inch fish range, you know, perfect for your early spring, early summer showdowns. And most swim shads I've seen, they kind of swim one side or the other, but these for the most part, they, they swim pretty straight and true. So. Can't hate on them too much. That's why they are in my top five slept on. Striper lures. I mean, hey, guys use these for RGs. Snook, reds. You can't really beat them. And they're, and they're priced pretty well. I mean, these are what? Eight bucks and you get three. And the tail is made out of you know plastic and then it's reinforced with I think what Teflon or I forget what it is. Something strong and durable. Coming in at number two, voodoo sheds. Always have it on you. Don't be lacking while you're voodoo shed. Number three. Your daddy Mac lures your viper Eel. This is the nine inch version. I troll these off the kayak at night a lot and I caught a decent amount of fish on them. And you'll see why. Because it's action. Oh my lord. Normally I wouldn't run this on a, a TA clip, but for test tank purposes only. I do, but I mean, this thing at night stirs up a lot of water, creates a lot of commotion, and it looks just like an eel. But at night, or as the sun's going down, and those fish start to key and start to go crazy, this thing is highly slept on. I mean, and it sinks pretty good, so I mean, you can troll it on your boat, you know, like one, two knots. So number three, Daddy Mac 
Gabriel, stop on. Don't sleep anymore. Coming in at number four, I gotta cut off my TA clip because this is this is a special one. This is a special one. I mean, so back in the day, all the old timers, old, old, old timers, all they had were tins. And they used to catch 50, 60 pounds off the beach like it was nothing. But nowadays, everybody's getting like, got your Zuri and Super Strike and Dio with us and that. No. All you need is a nice good old Hopkins. I like the, the tube tail because it resembles worm. But this thing right here, I think I've caught the most fish I've ever caught on a lure was this thing right here. You can cast it, you can jig it, you can sniff it, you can take a walk with it, you can kiss it goodnight. This thing right here. It's kind of gas. The guy we're just seeing. Everybody's sleeping on it. Just look at the action. Jazeera can't do that. A super strike can't do that. Allen's not on the balance, but <laughs> now, but this thing, especially if you're fishing like a storm and you got heavy wind and heavy currents and the wind's in your face, I can always count on a tin, a spoon. any day of the week. And then sometimes I cheat and I put some bait gel down the tube. So every time I cast it, there's a little bit of scent kind of coming out. And that, that, I found that um, catches us a little bit more fish. But this thing right here, man, I mean, if the stripers are on the bottom, like, like if you're in a boat, you can like jig them up with this. Especially bluefish, because like, this summer bluefish on the Cape for some odd reason, this summer they are here pretty thick. And if you don't like losing, you know, your expensive plugs, just get you some tins. They're very affordable. I mean, this one is what? 10 bucks. 10 bucks for a tin? I'll do it all day, any day. But this thing right here, man, so at number four, your tins. Hopkins, sponsor me, please. I love you. All right, here we have at number five, your Nomad Mascad. Your Nomad lures are slept on. I like them because one, they come with BKK hooks, so they don't rust as much. Two, they're very durable. And three, it's a crazy name for a lure, a mascot, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. Also, I really dig their color configurations. Nice holographic greens and blues and whites on it. So this is a sinker, so it just sinks just a little bit. And they make it a, some floatings and some sinking and some fast sinks, but this one's just a regular, so. And like everyone's gonna say, oh, it's just a little regular stick bait. Yeah, it is. But these are slept on. Highly. That's it. Not, see, now they're gonna give you a straight retreat. So I was just doing a little twisty twist. I'm gonna let it sink a little bit. Oh, oh, darter. It's got a little glide. So it's a little glidey glide. Oh, two more. And then you give it, give it like one good twitch, and then it gets in that, that nice rhythm of going left to right, to left to right. Also, when you cast it out and hits the water and you give it that first twitch, it just prompts, you know, a nice reaction strike, especially for stripers, because they're very lazy opportunistic feeders. Not just, that's like, oh snap, homie is injured. Let me just bite his neck off. All right, guys, this came in at number five, and that, concludes the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment what you want to see in the tank next. I don't care if it's a Senko, 
an egg sinker or a clam rig. Comment whatever you want to see. We'll put it in the tank. We'll show you and we'll get it done. So this is Matt. I'm out of here. Until next time.